the Oyster Gardening Program at the Center for the Inland Bays is a collaborative uh, project between waterfront property owners uh, that volunteer their time to grow a small batch of oysters. Our oyster gardeners care for the young oysters, which are known as pad, for about one year. Then we pick them up and use them in restoration projects where they can help us clean up the base. So the importance of the program is actually to bring back these numbers to sustainable levels. So if you would be interested in being an oyster gardener, of course you are going to want to approach the Center for the Inland Bays and sign up for the program. And you obviously have to live on a waterway that is suitable for an uh, oyster pot or an oyster cage. So you're going to have to have a little bit of a depth in your lagoon. Most people have lagoons. So what you need to be prepared for is to have a hose handy so that you can spray off your oysters. You're going to want to keep them relatively clean. You don't need to clean them every week. There is some weight to the cages as the oysters grow and they do get quite large. So you want to be aware that you need to be able to lift them onto a safe area. You're going to want some good gloves and possibly something that you can move the oysters around in on the cage because you really don't want them to attach to the sides of the cage. You want to sort of have them free floating within your cage uh, and you will want to keep them off the bottom. I think the most rewarding thing for me about having an oyster garden is the fact that it is quite unique and I know that when my friends come by and they see it, they're very curious about it, and it's really fun for me to explain to them exactly how amazing oysters are. The Oyster Gardening Program is a key component of the center's work to restore population of wild native oysters to the inland base. Healthy populations of shellfish are critical for clean water and abundant fish habitat. Our oyster gardeners support those efforts by growing oysters for restoration projects, and we're thrilled that we can get communities involved in helping the base.